What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys on AZ G15 Advantage and this time we had a request to try Hogwarts Legacy and Hogsmeade at 4K. Somebody wanted to know if they should bother getting it for PC, which their laptop is this PC, or just get it for PS5. So I figured screw it. I'll go and see what I can get best settings wise. I'm not going to sit here and go through all of the settings because we already know this thing is going to be horrible if you turn ray tracing on at 4K or even run the game maxed out or even high settings probably. At least getting 60 and who knows maybe they don't even care about getting a constant 60. They just want like over 30. So we're just going to go and mess with the settings. I'm going to get uh, close to 60 as I can if possible without using FSR, but I might have to use FSR, but almost guaranteed the PS5 uses upscaling for Hogwarts too. So why don't we go ahead and hop on in? I'm just going to do camera gameplay because 4K is so hard to run already if you try to use uh, OBS in the background on top of that to record at my ridiculous high bit rates that I have it record at. That's going to take probably like 10, 15 FPS away and that's just going to make it seem even worse than it probably is so we're just gonna use the camera and luckily we have this badass one now so it should look all right so anyway though well, I'm gonna go hop in and just mess with the settings run some benchmarks and whatnot and I'll see what I can come up with settings and then I'll start recording and we'll go get like you know five ish minutes maybe ten minutes of running around probably like five six minutes I think that should be plenty to show how it's running and if it can run decently in Hogsmeade it should be fine everywhere else from what I hear so no more blabbing let's get into the game shall we well all right guys after tinkering around for a little bit, here's the settings I decided on. It's not really 4K anymore, because I had to turn the FSR on, but resolution was set to 4K, and we end up with 2259 by 1271, because we're using FSR 2 balanced. Right now I got no V-Sync on, it's completely uncapped. Could probably make it a little smoother if you just capped it to 60, but we're going to leave it uncapped just to see what it can do. Make sure that this is selected as the right GPU, otherwise you're definitely not going to be playing this game at 4K, if at all. I don't think the integrated can even play this game at any playable frame rates. Now here's the custom settings real quick. No ray tracing either. And now with that, let's go hop into the game and run around Hogsmeade for a little while. Guys. Let's run around Hogsmeade for a little while with my settings here. The game had a couple updates since the last time I tried. But we still have some weird frame times, but it doesn't seem to be quite as stuttery as it was before. I'm not just skipping around town. So that's at least nice. And with these settings, I ran around for a while, and I don't think I ever saw it drop under 60 a single time. We got into the, like, mid-60s, like 65, 66, but that was about as low as I saw it. And it still looks pretty damn good as far as I can tell. I didn't want to go that way yet. I want to go this way. And then go down this way. Yes, yes. Holy cow! And obviously we have screen tearing because I have V-Sync turned off, but... Honestly, I really hate screen tearing a lot, so... I use some magic a little bit just to make sure the particles and stuff from the magic don't make it drop a bunch of FPS. But besides the one battle in Hogsmeade, I don't know how often we're really going to be battling in this city, so. But yeah, even in this game. It seems like this new driver has just cut my wattage in half. Now I see what that guy was talking about. Last time I paid super attention must have still been on the old driver. Ooh, a lot of stuff just started on fire. Good thing the ministry 
mystery banned underage sorcery. Can't trust the young. I'm going to drink your beer and I'm going to steal all your apples. But it's okay, I'll chop some in. There we go, that makes up for it. Huh, I thought I got that thing already. Oh, nope, there we go. That made it drop to 50. But still, not that bad. Mmm, and now it's nighttime. Maybe night is harder to run because of all the lights. Maybe that's why. Because when I was running around, it was daytime. I'm like, why is it all of a sudden dropping now every once in a while? So it seems like my settings can't always get 60 everywhere. But still pretty fucking close. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Is there any place cozier than Hogsmeade? Can go in here? Holy shit, what's in here? I'm totally in your house. What's up? Hey, what are you doing here? Whoa. Alright, I'll leave you to it. What are you doing? Are you just staring at a bunch of musical instruments in the dark? All right, well, I, I guess I'll just uh, let you keep staring at instruments in the dark. Let's see, we still drop a little bit here and there. But it's down to like 57. Not a big deal. The biggest lag was the grabbing the frickin' thing down to 55 when we grabbed that page over here. Ooh, another chest. More money, hell yeah. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? You no it doesn't. It surely does not. And I surely don't get tired of hearing that every five seconds. There's gotta be a way to shut that off. But yeah, I think uh also, we probably would get more FPS if the uh, frickin' thing would let my GPU clock up to its normal FPS, too. I definitely have to try de uh, using Display Driver Uninstaller on this and reinstalling it, and if that doesn't work, I'm just gonna go back to the old driver. Fuck this. I don't care if it says it's optimized for this, that, and the other. If I'm not getting full megahertz, fuck it. I don't care how optimized it is for a game. Unless it makes the game a stuttery mess, like if it, if it turns in and it makes this game, you know, just stutter like crazy all of a sudden, then fuck it, I'll take the hit on the megahertz to play, but... I don't think that's gonna happen. I think the this thing getting less stuttery is mostly due to the updates it's been getting. I don't know if it has anything to really do with the driver from AMD, it might have helped a little. But... Somebody said something that makes a lot of sense. They're focusing more on the G, uh, desktop GPUs. And it seems like our 
mobile chips are kind of getting forgotten about right now because there really is no seven or seven thousand series ones of those yet. So they don't really care about those very much. They just care about the desktop six thousand and the seven thousand. It seems like releasing drivers like these after so many months of waiting. But all right, I honestly think that's probably enough gameplay, so why don't we go step right next to this bridge, and why don't we wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for Hogwarts Legacy at 4K here with my settings, and it seemed to do a decent job. We stayed right at around 60. We dropped a little here and there, but we did it on the other resolutions too, so it's not really surprising, and I'd say it got a lot better with the updates. I don't know if it has to do with the driver or what, but I am a little perplexed as to why my GPU is only getting 114 watts out of use only all of a sudden. It's not like super overheating or anything any more so than usual. It's the same temp it usually is, same with the CPU. I would totally understand if, I, if my CPU was getting up to like 105 or whatever, or my GPU was getting into the 90s or something, because I put those thermal pads in there, those freaking phase changing things. But no, they, they seem to help a tiny bit here and there, but more or less it's about the same. But still happy I tried it out just for fun. Now we know, it was a fun video. But anyway though, that's all I got for this particular video. Hopefully this fulfills the guys Quest and he can decide whether or not to go with the version for the ASUS G15 Advantage or to just go with the PS5 version. So with that said, that's all we got. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it. And until the next video, peace out guys.